Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements in my practice where other healthcare practitioners use toxic drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures if you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be. You have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, to help clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis and eczema and rosacea and acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system, the human body is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, the longevity products, longevity formulations, skincare, skincare ingredients, we are here for you. We can help you out. Our number is 844-236-6010. That's 844-236-6010. If you have questions about particular health challenges that you or a loved one may be dealing with. Let us help you change your life. Let us help you change the lives of your loved ones today. 844-236-6010. We can tell you how to get on a good nutritional supplement program. And we can talk about lifestyle strategies for reversing all chronic degenerative diseases. 844-236-6010 is our number. Likewise, if you have a success story or you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible hate leaving people on hold. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, head over to brightsideben.com. You can order products right off the website. You can go to pharmacistben.com also or criticalhealthnews.com. Those are my blogs. Thank you to Robert Lundgren and Jonty Collier for setting those up. Pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. Of course, you can also call the Brightside Ben phone team, 866 735 2470, 866 735 2470. And if you're interested in purchasing any of my skin health formulations, truthtreatmentproducts.com, truthtreatments.com, make sure you check out the retinol gel as well as the Omega 6 healing cream and my vitamin C packed, vitamin C packed products, Truth Healing Balm and Truth Serum, all up at truthtreatments.com. Okay, thanks for joining us on the bright side. We're talking pigmentation, darkening of the skin. We said yesterday there's two types of pigmentation. One is called melanin. Most folks have heard of melanin. Melanin is electrically active. Melanin is functional stuff. It dampens solar energy. That's one of its main roles. Not its only role, but maybe its main role. It dampens, softens, mitigates, absorbs solar energy, sunlight energy, and has a protective effect on the skin. Melanin is uh, part of the constituency of the skin. It's part of the, well, it's a couple types of melanin. There's one type of melanin that's built into the skin, and there's another type of melanin that increases in response to the sun. The built-in melanin is what gives us our complexion, dark, light, black, white, Caucasian, yellow, whatever, red. Melanin gives our eyes color. Melanin gives our hair color. And melanin is also found inside the body. This is why Uh, Melanoma, which is a melanin type of cancer, it's a cancer of the cells that make melanin. Melanoma is not a sun issue, despite what you hear from your doctor and your dermatologist and the medical model and people selling sunscreens and sunblocks. Melanoma is a melanin problem, a melanocyte problem. The cells that make melanin are going crazy. The cells that make melanin uh, are dividing in a cancerous fashion. But these cells live inside the body as well as outside the body. And you've got melanin in your heart and your uh, kidneys and you've got melanin in your brain. In fact, Parkinson's disease is an example of a breakdown of the brain melanin. And this is what changes, causes changes in how the nervous system and the muscles function. Anyway, the second pigment, the second uh, pigment, this is the one we've been talking about, is called lipofusion. It's a complex of melanin and fats in combination with cellular waste and dead cells and their components, cell debris. 
the cell debris under normal, normal healthy circumstances is usually going to be drained away in the lymph where it will be eliminated from the body and or recycled. However, as we get older, the drainage system, the lymph becomes overwhelmed and as the cellular death process accelerates with time, as we get older and the accumulation of digestive toxicity and sugar toxicity and the effects of nutrient deficiency and oxygen deprivation accrue, these are all the reasons why we break down cell waste materials will get deposited in various parts of the body because the skin is on the outside, on the periphery, and close to where, uh, close to routes of excretion, these dark uh, spots, brownish spots, begin to appear visibly on the skin as we get older. And we call this stuff lipofusion. It means dark fat. Lipo for fat, fusion for dark. And to reduce lipofusion, you got to take corrective measures in how your cells are breaking down. And you also got to help improve drainage. And I'll be talking about some of these strategies here uh, in a little bit. But I want to digress just a moment and cover a subject that I've been getting a ton of letters on. But I probably got 100 letters in the last week just on this one subject, and that's macular degeneration, leading cause of blindness. It affects millions of people. Two, two million people in this country have macular degeneration. Its incidence is increasing. Yesterday, we got a call at the end of the program about macular degeneration. So I, I promised the caller and I promised you guys that I would talk a little bit about macular degeneration. As it turns out, macular degeneration, like all of the other signs of aging, it's just a degenerative issue. And guess what? There's pigment that deposits in the eye. And this is one of the reasons why our eyes degenerate, because of pigment, lipofuscia in the eye. This is reading from the Royal College of, uh, Journal of the Royal College of Ophthalmologists. Accumulation, this is a quote, quote, accumulation of lipofuscin is one of the most characteristic features of aging observed in retinal pigment cells. Lipofuscin in the eyes, that's unquote. Lipofuscin in the eyes, and this should be no surprise. The body breaks down generically, folks. It doesn't matter where it's breaking down. It matters that it's breaking down. The only people who care about all the special areas where the body breaks down are the specialists because that's how they get paid. But it doesn't matter from a healing perspective, whether it's the eyes or whether it's the joints or whether it's any other system in the body. When it comes to macular degeneration, the operative word is degeneration, not the macula. It doesn't matter. The macula word just tells you where the degeneration is occurring. The part that you need to address, the part that we need to address if we're going to reverse it, is the degenerative part. When we're healthy, breakdown initiates build up. Under healthy circumstances, when we're young, when we're vital, when we're strong, when our body breaks down, that triggers a build up process. But as we age, and as we get more toxic and as we get less healthy and as nutritional deficiencies build up and oxygen deficiencies build up, the breakdown process does not initiate the buildup process, at least not completely, and breakdown keeps progressing. This is it. That's disease in a nutshell, and nobody's going to tell you that because it doesn't lend itself, this logic doesn't lend itself to the medical model because it's simple. There's no medicine that can take care of this. There's no drugs that can take care of this. There's no doctoring. This is why... Uh, this is why the word doctor means to commit a fraud. Doctoring is, f it, it, when you doctor something, you doctor your taxes, you're committing a fraud. So to doctor the body is to commit a fraud. It's to pretend like it's healthy. But doctoring cannot make your taxes better, and doctoring cannot make the evidence better, and doctoring cannot make your body better either, at least in a degenerative sense. When it comes to degenerative disease, this is not a medical concern. It's a health concern, and medicine is not health. Medicine is about dividing things. Medicine comes from medias, middle, middlemen. It puts somebody between you and the healing process. Medicine requires outside intervention. Health is about unification. Health is wholeness. The word health means whole, just like the word med, medicine, comes from middle or separation, implying separation. Health is about wholeness. It's something we can access ourselves. So for macular degeneration, how do you deal with it? it, it you know, you're going to laugh when I tell you because it's the same thing. It's the same way you deal with arthritis or any other health challenge. Parkinson's, myasthenia gravis, whatever. Any of the 12,800 different diseases, I'm sure you know. You guys know as well as I do because I've been saying it for now five years, at least on this program. How do you deal with degenerative diseases? It's the same, same, same strategies. All right, I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. 
Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, and 10 to 11 Central Time. If you miss a program or you want to review a program, they're all archived at brightsideben.com. You can also check out the Longevity products at brightsideben.com, or you can click on the Join the Team link if you want to start a longevity business and help spread the word about how important and how powerful a good nutritional supplement program can be. And if you want to make some money and start yourself a little business, if you're entrepreneurial-minded, we're looking for business builders. I am particularly looking for business builders. You can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website, brightsideben.com, or you can call the phone team, 866-735-2470, and they can tell you all about it if you want to... Uh, if you want to purchase products right off the website, you can do it at brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. Those are my blogs, which we update regularly with news stories as well as blog posts. If you want to purchase any skin health products, truth treatment products, my retinol gel or omega-6 healing cream, go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Speaking of skin, we're talking about the macula, which is uh, the center part of the eye. The eye is very similar to the skin, and a lot of the problems that occur in the skin occur in the eye as well. Macular degeneration is at least partially related to the deposition of, of a pigment. It's called drusen, D-R-U-S-E-N. It's similar to lipofusion, slightly different, but same idea. Deposition of pigmentation and degeneration of the tissue follow long-term toxicity and breakdown and aging and nutritional deficiencies and all the same things. It's all the same stuff. That should be such good news. Because it means we just do the same things no matter what we're dealing with. You don't need a special protocol for macular degeneration. You just do the same thing you do for arthritis or you do for any autoimmune problem or anything really. Number one, for macular degeneration or any other degenerative health issue, number one, you want to relax the body. You want to activate the parasympathetic nervous system. If you're medically, if you're a medical, uh, medically involved, if you're a medical professional, you're in the medical business or the health business, you call it the parasympathetic nervous system. If you're a regular person, you call it the relaxation nervous system. Either way, it's the same thing, and this is the system that regulates everything we love about being alive, from sex to creativity to fertility to healing to muscle building, wellness, regeneration. Everything that we love about being alive is regulated by the parasympathetic relaxation, rest and digest nervous system. So relaxing the body is critical. And you relax the body with nutrition because nutritional deficiencies will stimulate the stress response. You relax the body with mental strategies, thinking kind thoughts. Yes, something as simple as thinking kind thoughts is the best anti-degeneration medicine or, or one of the best anti-degeneration medicines you could ever use. It's not silly. It's not airy-fairy. It's not Boulder, Colorado hippie talk. Thinking kind thoughts activates the relaxation nervous system. It's biochemistry. Thinking kind thoughts, thinking loving thoughts, thinking spiritual thoughts, being forgiving. Same with emotional strategies. And we don't talk about that anywhere nearly enough on this program or on, on a lot of health programs, in my opinion. Mental and emotional strategies are critical for accessing healing, health, and wellness via this parasympathetic rest and digest nervous system. And oxygen, too. Hypo not, no surprise here, folks. Low blood oxygen, it's technically called hypoxia, is related to all degenerative health issues, including macular degeneration. Reading here from the journal Pro uh, Progress in Retinal Eye Research, quote, this is a quote again, hypoxia, low blood oxygen that is, hypoxia is implicated in the pathophysiology of age-related macular degeneration, unquote. That's no surprise, no surprise to anybody listening to this program, no surprise to anybody who understands how the body works. And that doesn't probably, well, I'll say that. I was going to say it might not include your doctor, but we're not going to go there. Anyway, when was the last time anybody got a prescription for deep breathing when they went in to, for macular degeneration? Well, tell your doctor to go get uh, progress in retinal eye research, January 2011. Tell them to read page 72. Right on the first line, hypoxia implicated in the pathophysiology of age-related macular degeneration. Why is it that we don't use these strategies? Because we think they're silly. We live in this high-tech world where breathing doesn't seem sophisticated enough when it comes to healing. But the thing about breathing is, is we can do it ourselves. And not only will it help reverse degeneration of the macula, and it'll help reverse degeneration everywhere because low blood oxygen or hypoxia is involved in all chronic degenerative disease. Anyone listening to this program knows that. It should come as, it's not going to come as a surprise. Lack of nutrition also represents a stressor. 
and lack of nutrition will also activate the stress nervous system and deactivate the parasympathetic or relaxation nervous system. Likewise, or opposing, uh, conversely, using nutrition will activate the relaxation nervous system. When the body has enough nutrients, it feels like it can, it can spend its resources. It's like when you have enough money in the bank, you don't feel so bad taking a vacation. If you don't have enough money in the bank, you're not going to take a vacation. You're not going to indulge in all the things that we do with our money. Same with the body. When the body doesn't have enough nutrients, it's not going to indulge in healing. When the body feels like nutrients are deficient, it's not going to indulge in building muscles and reversing degeneration. So a lack of nutrition represents a stressor. Use the mighty 90 essential nutrients. If you have macular degeneration, get on the healthy start pack. Use the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Use the Ultimate EFAs. Use the Beyond OsteoFX. There's key nutrients for the eyes, but they're also important for building and lots of stuff. Zinc is critical for eye health. We've talked about zinc a lot. I'm going to talk about it here probably tomorrow because it's super important for the skin. Zinc is important for blood sugar. Zinc is important for the brain. Zinc is important for the bones. Zinc is important for the immune system. Zinc is important for everything. And zinc deficiency is very common. I will almost guarantee you that if you have macular degeneration and you're not supplementing, you're deficient in zinc. Likewise, if you have diabetes or any other degenerative issue. Sulfur, very important for the eyes. We spent a lot of time talking about how sulfur is an electrical substance. The eyes are an electrical system. Sulfur is very, very important. MSM sulfur or alpha lipoic acid, which is a source of sulfur. Love that supplement, alpha lipoic acid. It's not an essential nutrient. Your body can make it, but it is a great nutrient for all electrical systems. It has a little piece of sulfur in there. Vitamin E, unbelievably important for the eyes. Also an electrical nutrient. Selenium, vitamin C, vitamin A. These are all key players in eye health. Essential fatty acids, especially omega-3s. Very, very important for the eyes. Omega-3s are very important for babies' eyes, for children's eyes, for, for the eye development in the womb. Omega-3s, moms who take omega-3s have, have kids with better eyes, with better vision, the, uh, better hand-eye coordination. Make sure you're getting your pigments, your pigment veggies, your reds, your greens, your yellows, your oranges. The macula is built up of pigment. In fact, all macular uh, health products, macular supplements, including the Vision FX from Longevity, will feature something called lutein in it. Lutein is a yellow pigment. You get it from corn or you get it from uh, a pumpkin or squash or even cantaloupe has a little bit of lutein in it. Lots of, lots of wonderful foods with these pigments, and we should all be eating them. Spinach, bell peppers, broccoli, Brussels, spr uh, Brussels sprouts, turkey. Turkey is not a source of pigment, but turkey is a source of uh, zinc, and turkey is also a source of uh, tryptophan, which is important for the eyes. Sweet potatoes, spinach, these are all great nutrients uh, with, eye, with eye, uh, eye pigments in them. Salmon even has some carotenes in, them, which, uh, carotene in it, which can be helpful for the eye. And by the way, for these pigments to get into the blood through the digestive system, your liver has to be working correctly, gallbladder has to be working correctly, because these pigments are fat-soluble. There's so much more here, you guys. Eliminating toxicity is also important. Making sure you're using your sweeties because sugar represents a major toxicity. There's a reason why a diabetes and macular degeneration go hand in hand. I got a few more things I want to say, and then we'll get our phone calls. Uh, get, get our phone calls in 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this. back on the bright side got some lines open for you try to call in uh try to call in early so we don't have to rush through our phone calls here 844-236-6010 if you've got questions about health or nutrition or the longevity products or if you have a success story or you want to contribute to the conversation hang tight if you're on hold we'll get to you here in just a minute i want to think i want to finish this uh finish macular degeneration tomorrow we'll continue talking lipofusion and use some uh, talk about some nutrients for addressing lipofusion and then i'm going to talk about uh, one of my all-time favorite all-time favorite nutrients, and that's high hyaluronic acid. And by the way, there's a very important relationship between high hyaluronic acid and eye health. In fact, we'll talk about that, uh, probably get to that tomorrow. So for, uh, for macular de degeneration issues, uh, as far as nutrients go, specific nutrients go, zinc, sulfur, vitamin E, selenium, vitamin C, vitamin A, uh, 50 milligrams a day of zinc, 5-0. Zinc picolinate is the best form of zinc. Sulfur, you can get that from something called MSM. You'll find that in the 
Beyond Tangy Tangerine, of course. If you want extra MSM, you can buy that uh, pretty much anywhere, 1,000 milligrams a day of MSM. Vitamin E, super important for the eyes. Uh, interesting about vitamin E, vitamin E will speed healing, and vitamin E will also protect your skin from sunburning. Vitamin E is found in the Vision FX. For, I like a 400 IU, at least 400 IU. You can use 800 IU of vitamin E. Look for mixed, M-I-X-E-D, mixed tocopherols, mixed to tocotrienols if you're going to supplement with vitamin E. Use your ultimate selenium, 400 to 600 I, uh, micrograms a day. And then, of course, vitamin C is really important for, uh, vitamin C is ridiculously important in the body, but also for, uh, especially important for the eyes, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 milligrams a day of vitamin C. You'll get around 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C a day if you use your BTT as directed. Vitamin A, 20,000 IU a day. And then all your pigmented veggies, make sure you're using digestive enzymes, the ultimate enzymes. With your meals, you can get some extra bile salts. That's B-I-L-E, bile salts. Uh, also lecithin, L-E-S-T-I-H-I-N. Also HCL drops, if you want to have a pharmacist make those for you, or apple cider vinegar. These are all ways to improve fat absorption, and pigments are fatty. If you have a gallbladder removed, you got to be super, super vigilant with using uh, fat absorption aids with your pigmented vegetables without a gallbladder. And, and by the way, you need your gallbladder. Don't let anybody tell you you don't need a gallbladder. Without a gallbladder, you're at serious risk for fat malabsorption, pigment deficiencies, eye problems, etc. Sugar and macular degeneration, diabetes and macular degeneration go hand in hand, so use your sweeties. Use your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, extra nutrients that will help with sugar metabolism, the Fucoid Z, the amino acid taurine, alpha lipoic acid, the amino acid arginine, the B complex, vitamin C. There's so many different nutrients that will help you process your sugar. And of course, then you'll reduce all the other symptoms that are associated with dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar, and you'll, of course, improve your eye health too. Working on digestive health, support the digestive system, probiotics, the, the biolumin nightly essence, using fermented foods. These are all the same strategies you hear us talk about all the time, every day. We talk about these same strategies. So macular degeneration is not any different. The eye pigment that we talked about, drusen, is lipofusion of the eye. Or macular degeneration, arthritis of the eye, Alzheimer's disease of the eye, osteoporosis of the, of the eye. As a breakdown, de uh, degenerative disease, macular degeneration is not special in any way. The only people who think it's special are specialists. It's a generic degeneration that happens to be occurring in the eyes. And by the way, there's an awesome CD that Dr. Wallach, uh, doc, uh, that Longevity is selling, uh, called Seeing is Believing, Dr. Wallach. It actually was recorded by a doc who, who uh, disputed Dr. Wallach's uh, uh, recommendations and suggestions that macular degeneration is completely reversible and this doctor this eye doctor was big enough of a man to admit that he was wrong because he used some of doc's protocols and people's people who are supposedly uh, going to go blind actually reverse their blindness it's this is all explained in the cd seeing is believing call 866-735-2470 if you want a copy of this if you or someone you love or know is dealing with macular degeneration get the cd seeing is believing call 866-735-2470 all right tomorrow we'll talk more skin health we'll continue talking lipofusion and then we're going to talk about uh, one of my all-time favorite nutritional supplements, and that's hyaluronic acid. And I'll tell you about an awesome longevity product you can use to help build your own. Build your own hyaluronic acid. As we've said so many times in the past few weeks, you can't get any hyaluronic acid benefits by just putting it on top of your skin in a skincare product, no matter what you hear from skincare companies selling. Hyaluronic acid serum. I know one particular company. Hyaluronic acid serum, supposedly. Uh, is going to help you with your hyaluronic acid, but you can build it up, and there's lots of ways to do that. We'll talk about that tomorrow. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Helen in New York, what's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi. Um, Greetings. I, I'm calling because, and thank you, I'm calling because I'm interested in figuring out how to either help what I think is adhesion from like four months of pleural effusions after a chest surgery, Okay. But test messed up. In fact, I think that maybe they aligned it wrong, because I can't. So between costochondritis, whether adhesions or whether it's some kind of fiber that thickened in those pleural effusions, 
And yeah, you're around. getting all technical on me here. You're getting yeah, all well, medical on me. I've been working on this a year. Okay. Well, here's the deal. Adhesions are actually a, a good thing in a way, even though the there's problems associated with it. It's the way the body protects itself. They're fibers, like you said. They're sticky fibers that are a result usually of surgeries and medical procedures, and it's 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 kind of like scar tissue. And it's a protective device. Problem is, is they may affect how your, especially in the lungs, they may affect how your muscles are working and how the lungs are working, and you may have problems with breathing. Do you have breathing problems? Are you noticing breathing issues? Yeah, it's tight, but it's not yeah. in the lungs. It, but it's maybe creeping up, so that maybe okay. my air, which is oxygen, which you're saying is very important, and I don't know how to increase. Well, you got you got a couple of things that you're going to want to do here. Okay, first of all, from a mechanical standpoint, you want to work those muscles. You have muscles, they're called your intercostal muscles, and those are your lung muscles, and you want to work those. And you may be uncomfortable for you, but that's how you break through those adhesions is by, is by forcing your muscles to move. So uh, it's very, very important that you force yourself to do deep breathing techniques, even though it's uncomfortable. It may be a little, is it uncomfortable when you do that? Do you feel? Yeah, uh, but I, yeah, I do do that. I, ha I had to force myself to do it, and I have PT now. Uh, you have physical therapy, is that yep. what you mean? Yeah. Okay, so good. On. So good. Your, your PT will help. Make sure that your, whoever's doing the PT understands what's going on and, and definitely force through, uh, force through those adhesions with your deep breathing techniques. There's a strategy. This isn't going to help you necessarily, but for folks who have, uh, who have a scar tissue after an injury, there's a, a type of massage called rolfing. Have you heard of this? Rolfing? Yeah. Or, okay. And I don't think it's going to help you if your adhesions are internal, but if they're more muscular for folks who have scar tissue, rolfing is absolutely incredible. I mean really incredible as a, as a, body, a body work technique. But for you, you're going to have to do your uh, deep breathing to help break through those adhesions. You also want to keep inflammation down. So look for other symptoms, especially digestive symptoms and blood sugar symptoms. Number one, if you eat foods and you have problems with, uh, with food allergies or food intolerances, you want to eliminate those foods because anything that increases inflam the inflammatory response is going to make it much more difficult for your body to heal. So if you work on digestive symptomology, eliminate any foods that cause digestive problems and then use your bioluminal nightly essence and the ultimate enzymes. The ultimate enzymes can also contain protein dissolving substances so that can help with the adhesions if you take your ultimate enzymes on an empty stomach. Hang tight, there's a few more things I want to tell you uh, Helen in New York, so don't go away and then if you're on hold, hang on, we'll get to you as well. On Pharmacist Ben, our number 844-236-6010 We'll take a break and come back with more good health information right after this. Don't go away. On the bright side, now I got full boards here, and I don't know how the heck I'm going to get to everybody, so I'm going to go fast here. I uh, for four. Uh if you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products, head over to brightsideben.com or call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Helen in New York. Uh, hi. Hi there, Helen. Okay. Uh, by the way, what, did you have pneumonia or something? What was the, did, what, no, I had heart get? surgery. Oh, you had heart surgery. I, I also think it's micro tears from just trying to exercise, you know, no, sweetheart, heavy listen. work after no. I was done with all that stuff. Helen, listen to me. If you had heart surgery, that means you have you have a, a long-standing circulatory issue. Now, I didn't ask you what kind of heart surgery you have, but it doesn't really matter because it's a circulatory problem. So you, you want to work backwards here. Can I ask you just approximately how old you are? 63. Okay. Uh, the doctor said that he thought it was the surgery. I, I, I don't ever like, I don't ever, anything that starts, oh, that okay. any, any sentence that starts off with the doctor says immediately goes into my, my so junk it was file. The surgeon, he said I had long runs of clear arteries, a clear carotid artery. He said he thought it was for 35 years of diabetes. Well, if you have, sweetheart, listen, Helen. Okay. Okay. And I, I'm, I got to go. I got all these calls okay. here I want to get to. Okay. Just, your body's falling apart, sweetheart, period. And don't overthink. You're, it sounds to me like you're overthinking. Is this, a, is this something that you do anyway? Overthink? Because you got all these details. We want to simplify. With health, you always simplify. The only people who benefit by this complicated model are the people who are charging you for it. All we want to do if we're interested in healing is reverse back to the most simple solutions. Number one, if you got a diabetic issue or if you have a history of diabetes, that means you have a history of dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar, that's going to completely change the healing process. Your body's not going to be able to heal under those conditions. So we got to correct the diabetes, which means correcting the digestive, uh, digestive problems. 
It goes back to the triangle of disease. I'm not sure how long you've been listening to this program, but it's the triangle of disease that's behind everything. Number one, relax the body. Continue your deep breathing techniques. Get on the healthy start pack. Stabilize your blood sugar by eating less sweets and sugar and bread and pasta, etc. Use the sweeties and use magnesium and make sure you're getting on all the nutrients that help you process sugar, including omega-3 fats and alpha lipoic acid and taurine and arginine and the B complex and vitamin C and have zero tolerance for anything that throws off your blood sugar and you know those foods and then start to correct the digestive system in fact if, if it was me Helen if this was me or you were my mom or, or, or somebody that I was a dear friend and you are a friend I consider you friends so I'm going to tell you this work back at the bait to the basics and forget the adhesions work on the basics digestion blood sugar, relax the body by activating the parasympathetic nervous system through oxygen, eliminating toxicity and getting on a nutritional supplement program. Helen, if you want more information, I'm, I'm glad to work with you. Send an email to ben at ksco.com and put your phone number in there so I can get back to you. And I, I'm sorry I have to let you go. I want to get to some more calls. Well, God bless you. Good luck, ma'am. Okay, we got to simplify you guys. Don't overthink in the interest of healing you always want to reverse back to the triangle of disease digestive system blood sugar system oxygen don't overthink denise in california what's going on welcome to the bright side denise oh right. good morning god bless you too ben good morning god bless Hi. you as well what's up thank you okay i'm still recovering patiently from my broken wrist Okay. And I've got the edema in the knuckles. I'm doing all my bright side vitamins, minerals, and controlling what goes on the fork as best as I can. <laughs> as best as and you can, I'm okay. I'm telling you, I'm still getting the numb, tingling, okay. swollen, can't make a fist, and I'm doing some therapy, heat, Good. cold, keep the, and all that stuff. Keep the I therapy. I think I'm just not patient. So well, you might not be. How long has it been? How long has it been, Denise? Uh, it is two, let's say, uh, seven weeks since I got my cast off, uh, four weeks since I got my cast off. Yeah. Okay, so then you, there may be some residual swelling, but you want to be trending in the right direction. If you're not trending in the right direction, then we want to take corrective measures. Can you fast? Yes, I've been doing intermittent, but I... Try to do a two- or three-day fast. If you can do a two- or three-day fast, see if you notice that the swelling goes down and you feel better. If that's the case, yeah. then you'll know you have... If that's the case, then you'll know there's a food issue, and you want to keep track of that. Alternatively, look for digestive symptoms, cramping, bloating, loose stools, etc. You can pretty much assume, if you're over 40, that you got some digestive symptoms. That's just the way it is in our standard yeah, American right. diet. So you got to look to mm -hmm. that. Use the Biolumin Nightly Essence and fermented foods. Get a Vitamix and do fermented, uh, do celery juice and beet juice and... And cabbage juice, etc. I love et that. I heard you say that a week or so ago. The celery and I tried it with it salt. But uh, put, put so lots of salt many, in there. Uh, okay, so Ca just a couple of sticks of celery. As much as you want. There's no recipe. You make your own oh, recipe. Okay. You're just as smart as me. Yeah, just just be creative. With the Vitamix and the vegetables, be creative. I like celery, but you may like cucumber or bell pepper. Mix it all up and see how you do. Make sure you put salt in. The combination of pigments, which are electrically active, uh, phytonutrients also have some electroactivity, and salt and a vortex. Spinning it in the vortex in the blender creates an electrical drink that is extremely satisfying. Remember, we're eating for energy. And so yeah. if you can get energy without calories, that's always going to be in your interest. Calories represent work. They're heat. They're hard for the body to process. This is why caloric restriction always increases longevity. So if you can get electricity and nutrients without having to get calories, that's going to speed the healing process. And then you want to start using... Yeah. That and you want to start using all your sugar uh, stabilizing techniques. Sugar represents inflammation and, and uh, uh, will slow down the healing process. So I would have, personally, if it was me, Denise, I'd have zero tolerance for sugar and for bread and for pasta and for potatoes. Of course, if you are going to eat those kinds of foods, drink more water to dilute your blood sugar and then start using nutrients that help you process the sugar. And then last but not least, uh, and thanks for your call. Appreciate it, Denise. I'm going to let you go here. Uh, last but not least, activate the parasympathetic nervous system through deep breathing techniques and relaxation. Always healing is linked to the parasympathetic nervous system and relaxation techniques. All right, Daniel in Texas, what's up? Welcome to the Bright Side. Should Daniel? Daniel in Texas? I uh, said, so Daniel, what's going on, my man? Hey, how you doing, Ben? Doing good. How you doing? How can we help? Pretty good. Okay, I've got a friend that has been suffering from uh, repeated outbreaks of boils. Oh, and no, that's awful. That's awful. How, like yeah. serious boils, big welts on the body? Yes, 
Yes, okay. Do you know where Do you know where they are? Are they facial or the back or arms? Presently, he's been diagnosed with uh, anal fistula. Okay. Well, that's that's not a good thing at all. The body's breaking down. First of all, boils are different from fistulas. Fistulas are a sign that the body's breaking down. Boils are a sign that something's getting into the system, into the blood specifically, and that means a digestive problem. They could be related. So you want to do the same thing you do for everything else. First of all, we've got to see what's getting into the blood that that's uh, activating this immune response, and that always means food. When anytime something is activating the immune response, you want to focus on food and digestion. Do a fast, that's the best way, and then start eating again and seeing what initiates, uh, dige- what, what causes or turns on the digestive symptomology. He probably does have digestive symptoms that he knows about, especially with the anal fistula. Then you want to start to rebuild the body. Protein is very important for rebuilding connective tissue, bone soup. And whenever you do protein and you do uh, things that help build up the connective tissue, you, and bone soup included, uh, and by the way, that's chicken broth. When I say bone soup, chicken broth made with real bones and real chicken. You want to use digestive enzymes to increase and improve the way the body handles the protein. So digestive enzymes with his protein, the ultimate enzymes with his protein, maybe some apple cider vinegar, use the bone soup. If he has any digestive issues, those need to be corrected. Likewise, if he has any blood sugar issues, and chances are he does that, just like we're talking with our, our last couple of callers, restricting the intake of things that spike, that spike the blood sugar, diluting the blood sugar with more water, and then using blood sugar stabilizing nutrients, including, uh, including magnesium and alpha lipoic acid and selenium and vitamin C and the B complex, all the things we always talk about for helping stabilize the blood sugar, then activating the relaxation nervous system is also important. A couple interesting nutrients that may help directly with the boils and will also help him build connective tissue in terms of his fistula uh, issue. And by the way, he's probably got long-term, uh, uh, long-term constipation. And that may be uh, occurring as well. Sometimes that happens when you have anal problems. Uh, zinc is very important for the immune system, also for the skin. will also help him build connective tissue. Have him get 50 milligrams, 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate, and then balance that out with 2 to 4 milligrams of a chelated copper, copper chelate. Uh, zinc and, and copper go hand in hand. Uh, vitamin A is also important. Vitamin A works with zinc. Uh, zinc deficiencies will cause vitamin A deficiencies and vice versa. So using 20,000 IU of vitamin A is also important. This is all in addition to his healthy start pack. He probably wants the glucogel caps as well. Uh, and I, you can take as many of those as you want, but I'd be taking three, uh, at least three a day. You can take probably six a day too. And then a couple other things, uh, the bilumin nightly essence as well as the uh, uh, the uh, fucoid Z fucoid Z which is made with fucoidin which can also help build connective tissue thanks for your call Daniel appreciate it hope we helped you out and that's all the time we have for today we left you on hold call back tomorrow uh, we'll get you first up and I apologize for that check out my website truthtreatments.com if you're interested in purchasing any of the truth treatment products and also if you're interested in joining the Brightside Ben team call 866-735-2470 or head over to brightsideben.com and click on the join the team link thanks for listening folks have a wonderful spectacular beautiful day i'm pharmacist ben we'll talk to y'all later bye for now